Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and I have a very odd lock here. Um, this was lent to me by my good friend Yukov, and um, what's odd about it? Well, it's very light, and the shackle isn't magnetic at all, and the lock body isn't magnetic. And these are powerful Eodinium magnets. In fact, the whole thing is suspiciously made of aluminium, I think. Um, just try down the bottom here. So it's a, no, even the bit that's in the, um, that goes through the wheels isn't. Now, what's interesting is watch my hands at the end when I finish handling this lock. I think that that will um, definitely uh, uh, tell you a bit of a story, I think. So, uh, okay. Um, now, there's a couple of things about this. We think that this is a Eastern German lock. Um, one of my German lock picking friends sort of concurs with me. Uh, the only clue is, apart from the classic sort of shape and build quality, um, is ue dot u dot m o with an umlaut on it. So um, yeah, if anybody knows anything about this lock or brand or anything in particular, or it's not Eastern German, please, please, please correct me in the comments. Always interested to know. Okay, so classic shackle pull method, very stiff and a bit slimy. It's probably just caked grease in there. So just going to a brace of the thumb, pull on the finger, you can probably see a bit of the tension there, tips turning white. And I'm just going to go along and turn it. Now you'll see that when I pull, the wheels actually lean slightly this way, which means they rub on each other, which means that um, if you feel a number, you've got to keep turning it back to that number to feel the next number. Otherwise, um, it, basically you turn them out of the gate by turning the next wheel, if that makes any sense. So. Um, a little something on five like the gr a gritty click so um, I'm just going to give it one wheel round the other wheels are not as tight as you can probably see because I can move those quite freely and this one is a little bit more yeah tight 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 yeah okay well we'll, we'll go with five does it in five does it make these wheels stiffer yeah, it does actually. Two's now stiffer, so I'm going to try to keep it on five. This line, free up the shackle a bit, get it turned past that number. So two, six, five. Keep turning it back. Do you see it turn with this wheel? Or you see my fingers very funny colour? I think two. Oh, I felt the shackle just release a little bit on two. So I'm thinking five, two. So sometimes you feel the click, sometimes you actually feel the shackle give. So um, maybe there's too much grease and dirt in here to get a full solid click. And um, what you're just feeling is that shackle pull and sometimes this little sort of gritty settling in. Let's have a go. Oh, and I felt another one. Does that mean it's open? Yes, it is. Wow, okay, so the code was five, two, six. And um, I probably can't just see, yeah, look at that. That is just from handling this. I'm probably gonna wash my hands. Um, just seems to be, and I don't know for sure, but it, it's not magnetic. It comes off on your hands very easily. I'm gonna say this is an all aluminium padlock. Um, probably quite good anti-corrosion. Not very strong by any means, um, but still sort of a fun one to uh, play with, a nice bit of history. And I hope you really enjoyed watching it. See you all next time.